Good job. Yeah. There's a little bit of variation here, which, you know, obviously to be expected, but I want you to know what it is. Um, here's the, the first one that you did. So I want you to look at your, your chest, your hips, mm -hmm. how much of them we can see. Chest, hips. So we can see a good amount of your chest, not really any of the, the front of your hips. Okay. And then a repetition or two later, we went to this, yeah. <laughs> which is which is like totally different. And uh, this is the clip we were looking at yesterday. This is the second rep. The second one's obviously a lot closer as far as uh, the turn. Yeah, the turn, yeah. The tilt and like the hips and stuff, like for me, that's like a kind of a separate topic that we can work on after we get uh, the, the turn and like the foot position down. Okay. <clears throat> But this first one, uh, for me, was definitely not. Yeah, I wasn't. Not, not as strong. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, just so you know, there's there's some variation between the two. Yeah. And so your biggest task right now is to gain more physical awareness of which is which, mm -hmm. so that you can self, you know. Yeah. Uh, diagnose what's going on here, mm -hmm. and whether or not you're hitting the right position. So, for me, like. Uh, and I just kind of said, like, we weren't really going to talk about it, but for me, kind of a combination of this one with where you're at with your, your hip and how uh, vertical you are, mm -hmm. combination of this one and this one and how your chest is facing the camera uh, would be, like, amazing. What to go for. Yeah, exactly, okay. yeah. All right. Let's give it a shot. Pretty good, Ricky. Come on back and look at that, that last one. <clears throat> There's the one you just did. <clears throat> Probably a little, a little bit exaggerated with, you're like, you're almost uh, parallel to the, the baseline. Um, so a little more turn than what we need. Right at the end here, you added a little bit of bend. Like, it's super strong. Um, if anything, a little too far with the upper body. Okay. Like it'd be probably kind of tough to get all the way around from here to get up towards the ball. Maybe you could okay. do it though. Um, well, maybe I shouldn't. I mean, if you can pull it off, it would be a huge, like powerful uh, turn into the ball. So definitely solid, strong. Nice shot, Ricky. Okay, let's see you start to put it together now, please. Uh, so a, a constant, constant tempo all the way through. Doesn't have to be fast. Yep, that's nice, that's nice, that's nice. Go ahead and maintain that, but keep everything moving once you start. Yep. That turn on that last one. <laughs> yeah. Now I'd like to see two shadow swings, and then uh, after the second one, you're going to put the ball up and try to do the exact same movement uh, with the ball. It makes no difference where the ball goes. I just want to see you execute the technique the same. Okay, good, good, good. Nice job. <clears throat> this was your last uh, shadow swing. Uh huh. That's really strong. And then here's with the ball. Nice job. Cool. Yeah. You didn't quite give yourself enough time. The toss was a little low. Yeah. But you, 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 the part we wanted to nail, we, we nailed. So that's great. Okay. Nice job. Do it again. Two shadows and then uh, the toss. <clears throat> Hit the same position. Yep, good job, good job, good job. Here, check it out. How do you feel? It 
it's it's coming. Looks good, man. <clears throat> okay. All right. Nice job. Two shadows and a hit. Good job, good job. Here's a... <clears throat> this is the one you said I probably didn't turn it all. Mm -hmm. This first one. Oh, I did turn. Yeah. Okay. I said it's pretty, it's pretty <laughs> strong. That was the one that you commented on. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking about my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> and you had two more shadows in there. It's getting pretty consistent now. Like, there's not as much variation as when you when you started. Mm -hmm. Nice job. Well, the rest of it will get ironed out. <clears throat> this is just all about getting familiar with with that position with your body, mm -hmm. which is gonna it, it's just loading the biggest, strongest parts of your body way, way stronger than when we started. Mm -hmm. just for <clears throat> drive down memory lane. Yeah. It's, it's, I mean, this looks so wimpy <laughs> compared to what you're just doing. Yeah. And I mean, you're, you know, a strong guy, so you've, you've t I'm sure had a decent serve, you know, anyway. But when we start adding the rest of your body into your motion, mm -hmm. uh, it's gonna be completely different. Good job. I feel like you, you've got a pretty strong uh, handle on it now. Okay. <clears throat> These have all been pretty consistent now for the last like eight or ten. Yep. Looks so much stronger than the way oh, you started. Yeah. yeah. I know it's really tempting to want to do what you did and just like juice it up and like. You know, try to try to pull the Ferrari out on the highway, uh, but but take your time with it because, yeah. as you found, like this is such a different position from what you're used to, mm -hmm. that unwinding all of that and getting everything lined up is going to be really tough until you get more familiar with it. Mm -hmm. So, I would say no more than like 50% effort for probably, I, I, I would say at least at least two or three like full practice sessions by yourself. Yeah before you start to increase the acceleration. Nice job, nice job. Had a little bit of kick on it, did you see that? Your take, your, yeah, that's something I, we haven't talked about that I've been noticing is, because you're turning so much more, the racket's coming from a little bit different direction. And so I, I imagine the serves you're hitting are a little different looking. You see, you see how it's coming up? Yeah. Off the court? Yeah, uh, it's, it's that. <laughs> It's because your racket's coming from, um, if you can... It's getting more yeah, yeah, yeah. vertical. Right, right, right. Yeah, from, from this back perspective, yeah. the racket's coming back in this direction way further. Before your racket was only like here. Uh -huh. And so you're coming up and around the ball much more than you were before, kind of naturally, uh -huh. because you're, you've turned so much. And so we might kill two birds with one stone here. Uh, like if we had three solid hours to work on your serve. Uh -huh. We'd really work on this, and then we'd work on second serve confidence, mm -hmm. which is gonna come from accelerating on the right path to really make a big curve. Right. And that's, you're starting to do that kind of automatically uh, because of the position you're setting yourself up in now. Cool. Does that make sense? All right, good stuff, man. Yeah, good I'm job. Loving it. Good job, Thanks. good job.